Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Yet another controversy over Defence Expo. ITPO says Pragati Maidan available to host Expo was never unavailable. Media reports question shifting of Expo to Goa. Several contractors opt not to take up PWD works. 835 plan and non plan works retendered in last three years. Several retendered three to four times. 80% retenders got no response. Truck owners demand SESA to hike fresh mine ore transportation rate. Demand 17 rupees 63 paise per ton per kilometer. To hit streets on Friday, seek government intervention. Big blow for Goa tourism, India cut out from list of safe travel destinations for Russians. Russian tourists also looking for less expensive destinations as ruble devaluates. FC Goa qualify for ISL semi-finals for second consecutive season. Zico's army overcome Kerala blasters to ensure top four finish. And now the news in detail. The Defence Ministry's decision to shift Defence Expo and Aero India show to Goa has raised eyebrows not just in Goa but in Delhi too. As opposition mounts in Goa to Defence Minister Parikar's plan to shift India's two biggest defence exhibitions, Defence Expo and Aero India to Goa, it now emerges the controversial decision to move to Goa is based on a flawed premise. ITPO officials confirm that Pragati Maidan would be available in February if the Defence Ministry reconsiders its plan to shift. Yet another controversy has struck the proposed Defence Expo and Aero Show proposed at Betul. The Defence Ministry had said Defence Expo 2016 was shifting to Goa because the ITPO will be renovating Pragati Maidan next February when the Defence Expo was scheduled. A National Daily report says ITPO officials now confirm that Pragati Maidan will be available in February if the Defence Ministry reconsiders its plans to shift Defence Expo to Goa. Defence Expo is ITPO's biggest revenue earner. Defence Expo 2014 earned rupees 13 crores for ITPO. ITPO Deputy General Manager Dusia says ITPO has had long-standing plans to renovate Pragati Maidan, which the Defence Ministry is aware of. However, no work is imminent since the government has never accorded financial sanctions. The exposed documents include a personal letter from Parikar to Parsikar dated June 12 asking for allotment about 150 acres of land on the coastline which can accommodate 10,000 feet runway along the coast so that a permanent venue for conduct of aero show and defense expo can be set up. The GIDC noting sheet on which Parikar's request was quickly granted explicitly sanctions a permanent venue for conduct of aero show and defense expo. Pragati Maidan, a 123-acre complex in the heart of Delhi with more than 61,290 square feet of covered exhibition area in 16 display halls and 10,000 square meters of open display area offers a far better option, says international exhibitors, than the empty land in Goa on which the DEO plans to set up a tense show. Arms Corporations is planning to exhibit in Defence Expo complaint bitterly about ad hoc decisions making as it takes a year of planning and crores of rupees to participate in a major exhibition. First, it was decided to move Defence Expo from Delhi to Goa. Then, because making Goa ready will take time, it was postponed from February 17 to 20th to March N. While the Defence Ministry has cited renovation of Pragati Maidan as a reason to move Defence Expo to Goa, no rationale has been offered for a shifting Aero India which was held in Bangalore on odd years while Delhi hosts Defence Expo on even years. The decision to shift Aero India has stirred up a hornet's nest in Goa with political opponents, activists and local alleging that this was a part of major land scam. Opponents argue that the need for the new runway for Aero India will trigger further land acquisition as it now emerges that the controversial decision to move Defence Expo to Goa is based on flawed premise. Bureau Report Prudent 
Same several contractors opt not to take up works of the PWD. Statics on the PWD tender process speaks it all. The department has re-tendered almost 835 plan and non-plan works in last three years. Tenders for some work has been re-tendered for almost three to four times. Among the re-tender works, contractors have failed to file tenders in around 80% of the work. The list also includes works at Raj Bhavan. Here's a report. Record of last three years indicate that PWD takes almost 500 plan and 3,500 non-plan works a year. That includes work from maintenance of government building to construction of new bridges and roads. But ironically, contractors seem reluctant to take up works. Some of the contractors do not agree to government's terms conditions. Some cannot afford the PWD work estimates. Whereas some opt out fearing hassles in payment and bill settlement. This issue had come before the estimate committee of the assembly. Now have a look at this data. In last three years, PWD had to re-tender 212 planned works. In some cases, some of the tenders were re-tendered for third or fourth time, and later work orders were issued. Recently, three tenders were re-tendered for four times, and 16 tenders were re-tendered for third time. It is same with the non-planned work. In last three years, 623 works were re-tendered, of which 20 tenders were re-tendered for three times. In this list of re-tender for 80% tenders, there was no response from the contractors. The work is still pending at Raj Bhavan 2. Contractors didn't come forward to take up the work, claiming it unaffordable. The repair work of the back scanner at Raj Bhavan was finally dropped as nobody came forward to take up the job. Other two works were re-tendered but works not taken up despite work orders. In last three years, PWD has issued tender for 1,617 planned work and 11,025 non-planned work. Interestingly, maximum 128 planned work tenders are from the Sangay constituency and just five in Navili. Non-planned works in Panji of 1,043 mark the highest. Lokik Shilkar for Prudent. FC Goa have entered the semi-finals of Indian Super League for second consecutive season. The Gors beat Kerala Blasters in their away match on Sunday to ensure top four finish in the ISL 2 league stage. Zico's army will play their final league match in Delhi next Sunday. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 